Glazier boss Mike Burgess has warned a Senate Estimates Committee that neo-Nazi groups are using their growing prominence to try and recruit more members. Our political reporter Chantal O'Curry joins us from Parliament House. Chantal, good morning. So Mr Burgess said that this doesn't necessarily though indicate a growing terror threat. That's right. ASIO is saying that these neo-Nazi groups are growing in prominence uh, and that more people are being drawn to this type of ideology for reasons the organisation itself doesn't really understand yet. He did say that those demonstrations that we're seeing across the country where neo-Nazi groups are involved, they are becoming more brazen. Uh, but they are most likely being organised to drive recruitment, to legitimately influence politics and public discourse, but they aren't particularly a growing terror a threat. Now, he says uh, some of those far right groups are avoiding being listed as a terrorist group because they're acting smarter and not advocating terror attacks publicly. Now, questions during this Senate hearing quickly moved to the upcoming referendum on an Indigenous voice to Parliament and some of the issues around that. Now, ASIO says it's monitoring any threat to public safety and foreign interference. He says that the most extreme views that we're seeing about the voice at the moment, some online, uh, so far they could be classified as awful but lawful and warn that some of those conflicting views that we're seeing could result in spontaneous violence as the debate uh, over the issue intensifies. Here's some of what he had to say. Uh, the voice is obviously a referendum is a significant event and we continually look at that situation. We have uh, done a recent assessment where we look at the possible threat to the referendum. Mm -hmm. At this stage we are not seeing indications of people planning a terrorist attack as part of that, but that's something that we constantly look, noting the terrorism threat level is still probable. Now, he's confirmed those security assessments of the referendum will continue in the coming months, particularly over the next six months ahead of that vote, to monitor any sign of terrorist threats or of foreign interference. Chantel, thank you.